Good morning. This is a special edition, a noon edition, so I should say good afternoon, of Political Paula, and it's a big day in Alabama. This is the day where we're going to find out just how much power women have. Now, that's going to sound strange to some of you, but let me explain. Women have so much power right now in 2017 that there are people in Alabama who are going to vote for a pedophile to become a United States senator for the very purpose of controlling all of our reproductive organs. That's what they're voting on. Abortion. Birth control. The fact that down south, the religious right, Bible-thumping hypocrites believe that they have the right to control all of our reproductive organs. And, of course, who we sleep with, who we marry. They don't like gays much down there either. But, of course, we have to also remember that these are the same people who elected an admitted sexual offender like Donald Trump. They voted him as president. Now, again, this show, we don't know how the election is going to turn out in Alabama. And I really hope that when I wake up tomorrow morning, Sanity has prevailed and that Doug Jones is the new senator from Alabama. But again, it worries me because it's Alabama. Now, for some of my viewers that live in Alabama and are good, decent people, I mean you no offense. But I will tell you that it does seem that Alabama, for some reason, is different. Definitely different than Pennsylvania. Although the Pennsylvanians made a big mistake and voted for Trump, too but that was an anomaly. I hope that won't be repeated in the future. Women have so much control right now, and yet we don't. Women are so powerful that people will vote for a pedophile in order to keep us barefoot and pregnant in our kitchens where we belong, to force rape victims to give birth to their rapist children, to force incest victims to give birth to their, grandba their granddaddy's babies. And yes, to force 14-year-olds to date 40-year-old men because mama gave permission. At least that's what Roy Moore said. I never dated anyone until I had their mama's permission. Maybe someone should have asked the little girl's permission. Ugh. Anyway. So then we have Donald Trump, who is supporting Roy Moore. Big shock. They're really brothers from another mother. You know, this is Donald Trump, who on tape, by the way, on tape, admitted that he walks into a room and he can grab a woman's breast, he can grab her crotch, he can kiss her. She won't say no, and if she does, it doesn't matter because he's the Donald. And yet this is the same Donald Trump, by the way, who brought out all the women that accused Bill Clinton of sexual harassment or sexual assault 20 years ago. And he basically said, you can't vote for Hillary Clinton because her husband cheated on her. But vote for me. I already admitted I cheated on Ivana and I cheated on Marla. I cheated on Ivana with Marla. I cheated on Marla with other women and then Melania. <laughs> Wonder who's next in his line of wives. And there's something else that didn't come out during the campaign. And I'm almost angry at the... Clinton campaign for not bringing it out. During their divorce in the 70s, Ivana Trump actually accused Donald of raping her. And yes, you guys out there, you can rape your wife. Just because we married you doesn't mean we're your sex toys. We can say no. Ask my husband. You can rape your wife. And Ivana did say that Donald Trump raped her during their marriage. Now she recanted, full disclosure, see I'm not like these, I, I tell the truth, she did recant and I bet he tripled her alimony in order to get that recantness, recant. But it was accused and this is why I'm saying women have so much power right now because I could walk into any television station right now and if I had a celebrity name 
I could just say, hey, 25 years ago, I was in New York and this dude touched my ass. He'd be fired tomorrow. I'd be on Megyn Kelly on Thursday. That's how easy it is. No one would give me a lie detector test. There would be no trial. There would be no prosecution. There would be no conviction. All a woman has to do today is say, eh, yeah, 25 years ago, you know, Dustin Hoffman kissed me and I didn't want him to. And the woman is believed. Except in the case of Roy Moore and Donald Trump. All these women that say Donald Trump walked into the dressing room during the pageants when they were half naked, whereas in other pageants they, they were in, none of there were no men in the dressing rooms. He just walked in. He gets a pass. You know, all these little girls who are now women say Roy Moore called me out of math class to ask me on a date when I was 16 and he was 40. They are all lying. They're all lying. Al Franken resigned because a Playboy model and him did a joke picture of him pretending to touch her boobs while she was fully clothed. A Playboy model who takes her clothes off for money and poses naked in magazines. And that's sexual harassment. That's how it started. And then, of course, all these other women came out. None of them have ever been put under a lie detector test. Nothing, no one had proof. No one had proof. No one had a tape of Matt Lauer saying, come on up to my hotel room, but he's fired. We have Donald Trump on tape saying, I touch women anytime I want, whether they want me to or not, because I'm Donald Trump. And they fired Billy Bush, the guy who recorded it. And they made Donald Trump the president of the United States of America. Anybody else see anything wrong with that? Women saying, I can't vote for Hillary because she let her husband cheated on her and she stuck by him. Donald Trump is on tape. And now he is supporting a pedophile. Now, look, I always say I don't just believe the women because they're women. I don't. I question. I wish these women would have been vetted just a little better before they came out in public and hired Gloria Allred. And they're going to get a lot of money when they sue NBC and they sue, sue um, CNN and they sue everybody and get money. And they write a book and sell their stories to Lifetime Network. I wish I would know more about these women and I wish they actually had proof. There is actually, I don't think, any real proof that Roy Moore molested these young girls, except for the fact that he was banned from the local mall because mall security said he was lurking around scamming little girls, trying to talk to little girls that were not his children. That, to me, is a little bit of proof. But with Donald Trump, we had proof. We have him his own words, not fake media. Not Rachel Maddow going on her computer at night and, and mixing a tape. This is Donald Trump saying, I can touch any woman I want. I can kiss any woman I want. I can grab any woman's crotch I want because I'm Donald Trump. And it doesn't matter if she wants me to or not. And then when a woman says, well, wait, he grabbed me and I, well, oh, I would never touch her. She's fat and ugly. And you made him the president. But all these other people are dropping like flies. Fun, isn't it? Interesting, isn't it? You know, I know the South is different. My husband taught me that lesson. My husband, when he was in the Marines, he actually lived in Mississippi and Alabama. And when we went to Florida in 2004 and we started driving from our beautifully diverse neighborhood here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, he said to me, keep your mouth shut. As soon as we cross the Virginia border, you're going to see things and hear things down here that you don't hear in Lancaster. They're going to offend you. This is the way they are down here. This is normal. And luckily, I didn't hear too many things. But boy, I'll tell you what, when we bought our trailer in Maryland, I did start hearing things that I couldn't believe. And Jason was like, well, you're in the South. I'm like, really? 
The Maryland border is one hour from Pennsylvania, and yet it might as well be a different country in some places, the way people talk in public, in bars. The words I hear spewed around like it's normal. And it does offend me that I have to keep my mouth shut because I'm in the South. I can't believe that I was called a nigger lover for voting for Obama. I don't want no nigger running my country. And people are saying this in a public place. But then when you look around, I don't see any black faces. I don't see any Chinese faces where I am in Maryland during the summer. I see Mexicans, but they're mowing the lawn and trimming the weeds. They're not living next door to me. And so I guess that is kind of the way it is in Alabama. You know, black people know their place. Their maids, their nannies, their, their cooks, their gardeners, their landscapers, their pool boys. But they better not be your boss or your CEO. Or God forbid, your son brings home a black girl and says, I want to marry her. That's the way it is. And again, I'm not trying to offend all people who live in Alabama. I know there are good people there, just like there are good Muslims in this world and good people everywhere. But when I listen to some of these people in Alabama, these people who say, I'm going to vote for Roy Moore because he's going to stop gay marriage and he's going to force women to have babies they don't want. And that's their criteria. That's their litmus test for a good senator. It makes me wonder. Makes me think maybe back in the Civil War, we should have just let the South secede and make their own country. Because I'm starting to think with everything that happened with the Trump election and what he's doing now and this Roy Moore thing and then other men getting fired and losing their careers, losing their reputation, losing their families. Because a woman says 30 years ago they touched her ass or kissed her and she didn't want to be kissed. I have a problem with that. It's almost like last November 9th or November 8th, I went to bed, November 8th, 2016, and I woke up on November 9th and the earth reversed its axis. I'm like in Bizarro America now, kind of like Seinfeld, Bizarro Jerry, Bizarro Remember. And I feel like I don't know what the hell is going on in my country. I don't understand how a good Christian down in Alabama can say, I'm voting for Roy Moore because he's a good Christian. And how a good Christian could possibly think someone who goes after underage girls to the point of calling them out of math class for a date is a good Christian like they are. It's hypocrisy. And this hypocrisy, again, is all about Republicans going, we're for small government unless you're a woman. Or gay. See, because we want small government unless you want to marry someone of the same sex as you are. So we, we are small government, but we want government to tell you who you can sleep with, who you can marry. And if you're a woman... You better be using those reproductive organs to make babies for your menfolk. Other than that, the government will stay out of your business. You know, that's kind of important. You know, who I marry, who I sleep with, my reproductive organs in my body. That's kind of important shit to me. And I have a message. That's why I'm doing this show today. I was going to wait until after the election because I am hoping people will come to their senses. And instead of seeing an R next to somebody's name, vote for the right person. Forget about the Democrat or the Republican. And let me remind you, Alabama people, something else. Abortion is legal. It's been illegal since 1974, and it's going to stay legal. Women in this country who want an abortion will always be able to get one. Gay people are out of their closets, folks. They're everywhere. They're your doctors, they're your lawyers, they're your preachers, they go to church with you. They teach your children in school. They're out there. They're not going back in their closet. And they are going to get married. And they're going to adopt and raise wonderful children. 
So let me just send this message to people in Alabama. Voting for Roy Moore is not going to put gays back in their closet. And it's not going to put black people back in the cotton fields. And it's not going to make one less abortion happen in this country. We've come too far for that. Women have power now. We can fire a very powerful man just by saying he touched our breast 35 years ago. We are CEOs. We are doctors. We're lawyers. We're your boss. We are the boss of the family in many situations. We are the breadwinners of the family in some situations. We make more money than our husbands in some situations. And we also choose if and when we want to have children in all situations. We are not going back to the 1950s where we wear our best outfit and our stiletto heels and wear our makeup to clean your house for you, to make your roast beef dinner, and to birth your children. We aren't going back there. So if that's why you're voting for a pedophile, you might want to rethink. You might want to rethink it. Just like those of you who thought that by voting for Donald Trump, you were voting against Hillary Clinton. You made a mistake. And I think most of you now know it. We know that Donald Trump spends eight hours a day watching television and downing Diet Cokes and tweeting. How is that even possible? You are the leader of the free world. How do you have time for that? I have a friend who is a housewife and mother and doesn't have time to watch eight hours of television a day. You'd think President Trump has better things to do. And that's scary. And whenever I hear, especially a woman, defend this man and say, well, Bill Clinton this and Bill Clinton that. Bill Clinton was not running against Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton was. And if you really want to hear something that's really horrible, and I do believe this, Hillary Clinton lost because she forgave her husband for cheating on her. And yet Donald Trump, a known adulterer, a multiple adulterer, and a sexual harasser, won. He got the female vote. And I don't know how you can look yourself in the mirror saying we hated Bill Clinton, but we voted for Donald Trump. Because in my opinion, Bill Clinton is Donald Trump light. And Donald Trump is guilty of a lot more sins than Bill Clinton ever was. Bill Clinton was a terrible husband. He was a great president. Donald Trump is a shitty husband or was a shitty husband, at least to two of his wives. And he's also a shitty president who is supporting a pedophile for the U.S. Senate just because there's an R next to Roy Moore's name. So we're going to watch this election. I will hopefully not have to do a show about this election tomorrow because hopefully it's going to go the same way. The non-bizarro America. And again, I don't know anything about the Democratic candidate for Senate in Alabama, but I do know he's not a pedophile. And he hasn't been accused of being a pedophile. And for me, that's good enough. So Alabama, I hope you do the right thing. You know, I love all my viewers all over the country. I don't hate Alabama. I have nothing against Alabama. I know there are good people there. And I hope you are the ones that turn out those polls today and do the right thing. For now, Political Paula is out.